Hello and welcome everyone to another Let's Play with the developers on the Forgecraft server. Uh, since you were last here, a few things changed. At a short moment um, to play. Um, mainly I started, it started a composter around this part of the colony, which is still in progress. And we did finish a blacksmith here. However, part of that blacksmith burned down. Not sure if it's still visible. Um, because of dragon rats. So that was fun. With a bit of our library, uh, warehouse, and university on fire. Hospital, I mean. However, one of the first things I wanted to do on stream was actually dump my inventory and then check out this fairy ring. I'm going to give a hi to everyone first though. So hi John, how are you doing? Hi Figures, hi the realm, hi Superminix, hi Unknown Giblet, hi Greg, hi Ninja and Mimi, and hey Dragon Hunter, how are you guys doing? Dumpy 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 dump. Um, that's fine, I guess. Let's check if uh, anything in our colony happened in the meanwhile. Things should be fine. Yes, composter is fine. Uh, that builder seems to be... Ah, working on the sawmill. What do yeah. you need? Hammer and some stones and um, ready screws planks you're house. apparently getting. Just the iron bar is not, so we can help her with that first. Hi chef, how are you doing? Uh, we have iron bars here, yes, a lot of them. Ah, you... <laughs> horsey. I'm going to Not sure if it was mine or Sam Letter's horsey. I think that could only be... be found... Am I on caps lock? Oh yeah, I was. Thanks, John. I think we can only find that out if we go back in the videos and check in the first videos how I called my horsey. Okay, let's let's check this out. So apparently, asking Google, uh, asking um, actually not Google. I don't like asking Google, but asking uh, e Ecosia. Uh, we are supposed to find ores a few blocks down here. I called it horsey with I because I wasn't sure if I called it horsey with I or Sam Letters called it horsey with I. Because he called his similar to mine. I think it was. So we see. Apparently a few blocks down we are supposed to find diamonds or emeralds. So let's see if that is all um, a fluke, or if it's actually true. I'm going to find it out then. I found gravel. I guess that was not part of it. So gravel is always nice to have. Oh wow, that was a lot of gravel here, apparently. And even a cave down here. That I hadn't expected. And a whole cave system. Um, we light up a little bit of it at least. Because I actually want to finish to continue going straight. Um, so we were... wait, wait, I'm going to have first go up to see where we were here. So we continue going down. Strictly. Oh, that's stone. I shouldn't build stone. I should build cobblestone. Meh. Okay. Um, 
But apparently that is not, it shouldn't be so deep down. Copper ore. Is it a fluke after all? Is there no diamonds here? Um, no, my electricity is not back on. Although I did understand the story now. Because apparently, yeah, now I got the cable through to the other apartment over us. Because a new person is going to move in next to us tomorrow, apparently. Oh, nice, we found it. Yes, that must be it. Um, so the story is basically that there are a bunch of electric companies here in Port in Lisbon. However, the installation is all the same company that does. Um, and apparently one company told the main company wrong data of how to install it once. And that basically messed up the entire system of the apartment building and resulted in them turning off the wrong one as well. Um, so basically the owner here <laughs> had to make a completely new contract to get that corrected and apparently they're supposed to come tomorrow morning and fix it. So I really hope they're going to come tomorrow morning and fix it. So let's get a few of these things here. Choo -choo -choo. Well, we're underground anyway. Should I get some endicide? No, I'm going to get a bunch of that iron ore though. That's always a good idea. Yeah. I don't know how it is possible, but electric companies in general are highly incompetent, always. I wonder if that is because of the size they have. Or if that is simply bad management. Uh, let me dump a few of these things here. Have some extra space. Mm -hmm. Six diamonds is a little bit disappointing though. I had expected more than six diamonds. <laughs> Um, excuse me guys. <laughs> so, let's get all that ore out of here. Oh nice. More, more. What is this? Granite? I should get all that granite here, I guess. I think I don't have a lot of granite in my base. Talking about it, I'm probably going to get some of that endicide upstairs too. Always good to have those um for uh, those ores in a decent stock because those get regularly difficult to obtain in my experience at least so we can go back up here anything those all don't interest me too much um some coal is always good and now i heard the enderman Sean was talking about as well. Chuk chuk. Some andesite. Let's go down there again. Use our crafting table quickly. Two more pickaxes. There we go. Eh. So. Um, if I like backpacks more than moving the items directly in the shulkers, um, I don't care actually. The reason I use backpacks because I wasn't in the end yet. I think that would be my excuse for using backpacks instead of shulker boxes. Else I'd probably use, be using shulker boxes if the backpack requirement would be that. And to be completely honest, uh, I'm one of these people who likes harder gameplay. So in general, I would support 
backpack mods that restrict you the recipe to some end items rather than making it as easily accessible early game I would support that because those are very powerful items I was these days wondering even if wouldn't it be interesting if there wasn't such a thing as inventory and it would actually make a certain amount of sense how much items you can carry this yeah but that's that's the thing I think like mod specific backpacks they solve a problem right it's I get it in chisel and bits I really get it but all the other mods like the gem backpacks or so it usually means there are too many gems I think that is a, a gameplay problem already if a mod forces you to have uh, an extra backpack for all the items they add maybe they're adding too many items Choo -choo -choo. coming out of here so we can close that one off too great um here is nothing up there no 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 maybe adding one here um there's a room down here down there as well though that's where i was that's where i was that's where i was Chook, i can close this and then it's only here Oh no, what, what I mean is neither a backpack, like basically you're only able to carry the amount of items that you could realistically ca carry. That's what I meant, not making a backpack because it's also unrealistic that you can carry a lot of anything, right? A ton of stone, unlikely that you could carry so much stone. Yep, if it's two torches max. Of course, you would. The idea of this would then be making resources more accessible in different ways, right? Oh wow. So, iron ore would not be just for iron ore like this, but iron ore would be more likely. If you find it a huge vein of iron you can extract from and you would be using more mechanisms like mine cards etc to transport ores from the mines upwards etc that was the general yeah you would have a wheelbarrow probably etc but it would slow you down and um, I forgot to <laughs> yeah that that's what I'm talking about right it's just so absurdly unrealistic how much stuff you can carry in minecraft give me give me like gold is something that's like super heavy and you can just carry absurd amount of gold ingots without with you around and yes it would probably make exploration diffic more difficult but it would also make it more interesting in my opinion so we're ready for the overworld again i would say nah, we have plenty of these modded ores all over the place so Still hearing uh, this Enderman. So, we're upstairs. Then we probably want to close this off. Put here a few torches. Then we can take the dirt. 
And we probably do want to take away a bunch of this uh, mountain here. Little mountain, to be fair. Yes. I think it would probably make um, delivery systems, etc. much more interesting. That is for sure. Uh, I'm not saying that this is like something we are going to be implementing ever because we are not but it is something that I'd like to see in a game I would really enjoy that um, you may ask where I got this dragon head from I didn't go to the end that was literally my horrible encounter with the dragon bees dragon bees with the dragon rats Choo -choo -choo. dumping more of this dumping that stone sword definitely dumping that can I keep the remaining stuff I think that's fine yeah so I'm out of food and it's getting night so let's lie down <laughs> no, I wasn't in the end. It's dragon rats attacked my colony and <sighs> nearly burned most of it down. That's what happened with dragon rats. Oh wow. No, that was not on stream. How's the work going? Oh, birch log could probably help you with that. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Here. What shall that should I allow you to burn today? your cook your stuff for a while again. We got all the potatoes we need. <laughs> what a lovely weather today. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, apparently, apparently, Soren created a few dragon rats and then duped them to the hundreds. And a few of them escaped and came here to our colony. Which reminds me, I wanted to claim some chunks here um, probably like this okay and now we can't see where the other people are so Giga here is really close Jared also really close that one here is the closest probably not sure who is here um, yeah we got a lot of people here close by um, dark hacks. We probably can see where are the others. Rorix, Buzz. Ah, there is their colony, but that's also not so far away. Choo -choo -choo. Wasn't it fire and ice that had that? All those demons, etc. So, um, yeah, I wanted to check on the university quickly. Yeah, and as you can see, the forest here looks poor. That is because I had to cut down half of it because of these darn rats. So, um, as far as I remember, uh, Creeksel used to have a uh, World of Dragons mod pack with mine colonies and those together. Wait, technology. Um, with the stonemason, we just unlocked the stonemason. 
Um, we can d research this. No, we can't. Um, what do we want then? The glass blower already, the stone smeltery. Maybe the stone smeltery. Um, I wanted to go this time, like early level already with the crafter buildings. Um, I guess. I guess it would be best to go with the stone smeltery first. So for that we need 64 stone bricks. I have 61. And enough stone for the remaining. There we go. Um, technology. Research the stone smeltery. Because then we can already place the stone mason. What was the recipe for the stone mason? Uh, just stone bricks in the middle. Okay, that's easy. Let's gotta find a... there. Okay. It was... We need some of these. And then a build tool. Three stone bricks to make a stone mason. And then we just have to find a place for it. Okay. Um, let's see how big the stone mason actually is. Maybe it fits somewhere around here. Stone mason is relatively big, but not so big. Let's go like to level 5. Go like this. We can move this here, at least one closer. But it would still overlap here and here in the back. So that is not a good spot for it. Um, I did want maybe it around. Maybe we can place it here. Choo -choo -choo. So that overlaps with this building. One over here. Now it's not an overlap anymore. But over here it strongly overlaps. So that is also not the location. Unless maybe we can do it like this. Um, this way it doesn't overlap anymore. Yes. One deeper. Um, although it does... Yeah. How much more can we... Put it over here. Like this is probably the max. Let's see, that would fit here and would fit here and allow to have space around it. But it still would go outside of this significantly. Huh. No, the crafting bench on a stick is fairly useful, but I do not miss it, honestly. I think here is the perfect place then. I just do need... Um, I just do need you think I'm not a strong quick Watch me. fix of my pickaxe. Um, let me first put that iron in the smeltery and then here yes ma'am yes take care of the iron do you have anything in here at the moment apparently not you're level three right aren't you yes okay i think portable crafting bench is not something i really miss a lot i usually place crafting benches all over the place so i end up not being so dependent on it. Um, vein miner, I have to say, on the official pack here and there, I'm like, okay, let me vein mine this here quickly, and I was like, ah, ah, wait. Um, birch planks. We do need the hammer. Hammer. Tetra. An X.
Really Tetra and X I need as well. Craft. Okay. Hi Tinty Tods. Yes, I I craft mostly at the builder's hut as well. So that's why I don't have a real problem with it. Um a quick question. How does this honing stuff actually work? I heard that I can Ah I can hear hone for the speed. Craft. Okay, I hone that. But I could only hone one of them apparently. So now that it has extra speed. Um let me see because I got a message for honing here too. Um hone for more damage. Um John, if I hone my bow, am I going to lose my enchantment on it? I am concerned about this. Hi Ross, how are you doing? So I can... A Forgecraft is a kind of developer server. <sighs> um, like from developers, for developers, playing together. Um, which helps people to test each other's mods, uh, etc. So only if I upgrade, honing doesn't. So what does this, does this wrap grip do, basic string? I can get more damage on it, or I can get more speed on it. I feel like I should get more damage on it. Okay, I can see this. So increases the draw speed. I kinda feel like honing this. But what do I have to... Which material do I need for this? This is n unclear. Ah, only the wrap grip if I had the wrap grip. Right? Letter? Okay. Um, bone wrap grip? No. No. Um, that I can. And that I can as well. Let's go with speed. We got now some extra speed from it too. Let me see. It feels a little bit quicker now. It does feel a little bit quicker now. Okay. Um, it was again a classical Ray getting distracted moment. So I got my axe now. Now we can cut down a few of those trees and place down the stone mason. Um, however, first I wanted to check how how much progress our crafter is doing. Uh, and I wanted to fix the flooring here, which was also the darn rats putting everything on fire. I actually even made a bug report at the rag rat mod, because it was like just so insane. Like what? Why are you going to add a mechanic to your mod of having some mobs that just fly around and burn down stuff. Oh wow, that is level 1 already. Uh, let's upgrade this too. I want to remove these two. Okay, great. Basically, yes. Um, but it's not only for checking out, but for general testing as well. Like, pe for people to test their mods in 1.16. Um, so, okay. 
now we are out of citizens apparently let me see if we can't even get a, a visitor probably going to check first so what's up with you over that head. so you need a bunch of stuff what are you working on composter level 2 okay great hmm oops didn't mean to place this torch um let me see at the town hall we should have the stats to see that yeah okay um the info we got 26 of 26 we do have two more slots for archers another slot for a knight though and two children so we have got these two children to grow up but probably we could hire a visitor for one of the guard spots i'm seeing a visitor down there let's hope he doesn't ask for anything unreasonable he or she that is he if you say so 20 sunflowers come on you like flowers so much okay hi carl <laughs> how you're doing um we're placing down the stone mason now i did hear about that already about the builder being in the final step and glitching out i am in the progress of trying to reproduce it however i got a paper deadline and i've been very busy all day long basically making and improving my mathematical proofs in my paper so I didn't really have time for any of this um, we're having some progress with uh, a few of the other de de developers however I am the main one in terms of looking for the builder especially so that's why there wasn't any progress on that end so eat a bit So, I've been also getting more insistent on Optifine for them to fix their shit. Sorry for the S word. Um, I'm kind of losing patience. Because it's not like if it was only a problem where it's like, ah, remove Optifine, no problem, I'd be like, eh, it sucks, but not a problem. But since a lot of players might be like eh but removing optifine is not worth it for me i really like optifine so i'd rather try another mine colonies alternative or so that'd be very unfortunate i i think um so this needs to be, go like this and the question is that is the right height, isn't it? No. It's one deeper like this. Okay. And one over here. Now here we got an entry on this side. That's fine. We got no end we got another entry on this side here, which could be called the front. And this here could be called a back actually because there's no there's another entrance on this side here though too there are entrances everywhere on this building so it doesn't really matter what i'm concerned about is actually this here uh, one deeper can i safely move this one over John uh, John Carl does it have placeholder blocks or does it have air and it's going to remove part of this wall here that would be unfortunate I think that is a good front though I think that's what I'm going with okay so that is what I'm going with then so 
so. Oh, it's one deeper still, right? Yeah, it's one deeper still. So that should theoretically work out fine. So let's go with this. Yeah, the greater you stop being using Reddit, I have nothing to do with that. I was very respectful on the on his Discord asking for people to look into the issue. And I was told to PM him, although he did not get back to me yet. But I would really like that, because it's in the end in both people's interest, right? I don't know how many people... I could say that at least 50 people at least temporarily got Optifine and disabled in the last weeks because of its incompatibility with mine colonies. I think that is a safe minimum assumption. If you want me to mathematically prove that, that's what I've been doing the entire week. <laughs> um, okay. Let's go to bed quickly again. Do, do, do. Sleepy sleep. Quickly. Um. <clears throat> My thesis is mathematical proofs for why Optifine is not so fine. <laughs> yeah, no. Mm. Now I'm improving some specific condition of very specific graphs that have very interesting um, behavior. Bam, bam, bam. We want to fill that remaining in here. Yeah, that would be it may be good enough for a bachelor thesis. Proving that Optifine is not so fine. Uh, if you're really lazy, you just go to the GitHub and you find I don't know how many thousand G issues, uh, and then you have like proof finished. It's at least not so fine, considering the amount of ish open issues and issues without any answers. And that is actually, that's my main concern with Optifine. Like, I don't like closed stores, but if you're closed stores and you make sure that you're compatible with the other projects, I'm like, okay, it's, it's your thing. If you don't want it open source, it's on you. But if you then interfere with others and don't fix the stuff and not even respond to issues, I don't. I do have an issue with it. Um. Yes, there should be. There is mechanism in this pack for sure. Mm. So. Let's get another shovel. Um, there, for me, the number one reason why there is no Optifine alternative is because of its position. It's similar to, like, why is there only one internet provider in my area? It's because it's simply a lot of work and a huge investment to, to do it and to make it compatible with the existing infrastructure uh, that it is not worth it for the companies to do it. That's why you try to get like public funds usually for the infrastructure so that, such that any provider can use the infrastructure and then there can be a fair amount of competition. Ah now, I want the dirt. 
that replacement middle click replacement thing is lately falling failing very regularly for me um there are a bunch of there's a uh, fps improvement on fabric but it is only that an fps uh, improvement most people that use up to find do it for the resource packs and shaders i believe at least and, and that's where the mo main cavity is in uh, my opinion making fps improvements like i'm not saying it's not difficult but that is relatively easy and there it's really easy to compete with optifine the problem is you want to make a optifine alternative especially for the shaders how and connected textures however the api has to be the same one of optifine because else none of the resource packs is going to be compatible and none of the resource and shader packs creators is going to switch over uh, so you need the same api but since optifine is not open source you can just not copy it and slowly go to something else besides as far as i know it's like probably a huge mess and very intertwined stuff so that it's not easy to just extract a part of it either so it is uh, fairly complicated yeah now the format is known but and the API for the shaders is kind of known but using that API you kind of restrict your freedom to design that app as well by a lot and then you do a huge investment of time to code it just for it to be not that likely for having a mass adoption of it people are usually really lazy and switching to new stuff and different stuff so it's often very difficult to get people to switch stuff over but in terms of optifine i guess if you put it on curse um it is a little bit easier but still i think fairly difficult let's see what ray that's ray he will want potatoes right no nether quartz we do have nether quartz we do we do nether quartz what's it today then yes hi ray Dequart. what can i do for you and you are right away a citizen are you going to become a knight ray the clerk no i want to check which guard tower is missing a guard then hi fairy wolf how are you doing okay Choo -choo -choo. So let's check which of the guard towers is missing a guard. This one is fine. Let's check over here at the guard tower. Also fine. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I would call it. I would call it that um, people don't make informed decisions, and since people don't make informed decisions, they are too lazy to to do the right thing. Let's say it like that. Uh, Forgecraft is always nice. People are nice. Um, a lot of people are picking up mine colonies, so that's pretty neat as well. Definitely. Um, okay, so that guard got assigned. Uh, let me check if that here is finished. And that we got start building. Yeah, there is uh, that. And um, we do want also, and I left that open. We do want to connect the library here. So, Carl. 
Um, I have not checked if they sh are able to shoot from above. So. As far as I understood, was it like... So those should be... Is this possible? Like, I wasn't sure if it's like this. Or if it's actually like this. I wasn't entirely sure. So those two are definitely not aligned. So I guess it might not be that. Is it aligned now? Still not aligned. Choo -choo -choo. Okay. We go again here. Or was it here? It was here. <coughs> so. Um. It was this side here. That one I'm pretty sure about. It's a side with the double doors. Um. No, there's no double doors here. It is this side. And it is this door, I, I guess. Um, like this then? To overlap here? <sighs> choo -choo 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 -choo. Is it aligned here at least now? Still not. But that, I guess, is then not the condition. Um, I'm stuck. Okay. So, here we enter. We can walk three. So it is like that here, right? It is not one back. It is exactly like this. Okay, let's try to get a better view from a distance. And potentially, maybe from this scar tower up here. Choo -choo 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 -choo. I do hope it's not mirrored. <laughs> I really do hope it's not mirrored. Um, but you should be able to tell me if that here is the right side compared to this here. Is this here? We can go to the other side as well. Choo choo choo. Choo choo choo. Um, uh -huh. So here we got the tower, the library. And here we have this. The university. Is it the other way around then? Mirrored? So now it should be right. Let me double check again. Um, again the same difficulty. <laughs> we are stuck at the same place. How do I do this? Uh, I made it out the same way again. Okay. So we have it mirrored now. But that would then be like this. I guess. So 
so that is still correct ah yes so that is still now that is now aligned so those here align now those align okay let's go to this end again <laughs> We're making an operation out of this, operation placing it right. Okay. So this here is now the, the right side, okay. I got it. This is how it looks like. It seems to align nicely. So I guess I'm going to go with this. And ow ow. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't work, we can still blame Carl for it. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Um. I, I would suggest using the new system where you can put, place huts within huts. I think that way you can easily guarantee to have it in the right the right rotation, the right mirror, and the right block. It will work. Whew. Let's hope so. Two stone bubble. What you only want? need a hammer and some stone steps, and ready is the new Spruce house. lock stone want to know how builders party so horse dirt and spruce sign for the spruce sign we definitely want to teach to our sawmill and for this for the coarse dirt I think we have enough stuff with this let's run to the sawmill quickly that is under upgrade as well as you can see probably and we teach um, spruce sign stick and spruce blank done so we only need the coarse dirt now oh yeah the the master building that is definitely to be the prerequisite of the other. Like, don't make the sawmill include the lumberjack, but the lumberjack include the sawmill. Don't make the cook include the citizen hut, but the citizen, uh, the, you can make, depending on the thing, you can make a cook include a baker and a citizen hut. That's not a problem, right? Um, dump a few of my things. What am I going to dump? Oak and some of that birch for sure. Um, that should be fine. Then we should get some of that gravel. And it was a lot of core dirt, wasn't it? Like 102. So we want more of this. Um, dirt. Gravel. Two stacks of coarse dirt. Two stacks of coarse dirt it is. I need to take some of that normal dirt out of here. Yes, that would be nice. A cobblestone stairs and slabs. Stairs and slabs. I love the fresh smell go. of timber. Um Spruce trapdoor, I'm sure. Fence as well. Men gotta do what Maybe men gotta do. Maybe he's fine now. Yes. Okay. Now we check on the other builder as well, how he's doing. If you include a citizen hut in their building, yes. It today then. That would mean that then. Choo choo choo. Dumping some of that dirt over here. Then let's wait a second. 
for everyone to go to sleep and then we can go to sleep ourselves yes do, do, do. Um, okay let's see if we can hire an other of these here uh, sorry <laughs> diamonds I don't have don't want to make such a commitment I'll take care of it also not I accept cooked potatoes um, nether quartz and redstone those I accept <clears throat> so since everyone is now waiting for the next step um, do I have anything I want to dump this here quickly probably get a little bit more quartz to put that in the backpack in case we have someone to hire we still have the school now I wasn't sure Carl does the school integrate in anything or is it a freestanding building I wasn't entirely sure Choo -choo -choo. I also want to probably place a school somewhere around here this area make this the educational district didn't start building the library either yet um, Um, oh, Erevan, I wanted to uh, to talk about that. I don't think I don't think it is wise to include the cook in the citizen hut because you don't need a hundred cooks. I think it rather makes sense to include the baker and the citizen hut in the cook. That does make a lot more sense. And then basically... I thought. Potentially you could build your style such that the citizen huts are all included in worker huts. So that the citizen rooms look all the same, kinda. Of the same dimensions and fit somewhere in the main hut. I thought that might be an interesting thing for, to do for that style. Not all huts would have it, but like a farmer would have it, a lumberjack. Um, so, yeah, we need to get this layer down as well. We can switch this to small tunnel. They're ready to couldn't reproduce it yet though. So I think it's difficult it's difficult to say how much farmers you need because it depends on which workers you have and how many how much they work. Like if your crafters work all day long, they're going to need much more resources. So So Almost finished clearing this up a little bit. 
And then we have this mostly aligned nicely. So... Don't I have another shovel with me? I don't. Okay, let's finish it the manual way then. So, choo choo choo. That is my good pickaxe. I do want to store that away again. Then we want to replace that also with dirt. Hey, you could design it if you put um, up to five crafters in the up to five different professions in the same hut right could be an interesting mechanic choo, choo, choo. I do want to get this a little bit sharper here okay. So, maybe like three, at least until this corner here, we want that somewhat around here. So, ah. choo choo choo. So, a last line, great, and then we close this here, that looks much better, okay. Uh, welcome to OCD colonies, <laughs> with ADHD, um, so, I'm Eli is still waiting for the planks, for yes, I have a sir. feeling she has all of it already. That is a What's stack today, request. Then? And then let's check on the other builder as well. Oh, you're a kid. Um, Composter 2, some slabs and trapdoors. Should get all of that delivered. We got one here on the roof. Carson. Don't do anything not thought through. Oh nice! Ah, he started on the sawmill again. We probably have to jump on the roof from the top and then ask him what he wants. Chup chup chup. Yes, sir. Ah, you wanted that stuff. Go down here, come, come. Okay, and you right wanted away. stuff that I can give you. Right away. Welcome! <laughs> Welcome, Gavin. I can help, I guess. I guess you're going to take pick up a guard job. Because that's the only reason why you could be getting here. Let's check out our guard huts on this side of the colony as well. If they need any job assignment. Let's check first the other one that I haven't finished checking, actually. Choo-choo-choo. So these, this here was fine. Um, choo -choo -choo. Ah, no, fail. <laughs> okay, restart. Without stupid parkour this time. I can't do it without stupid parkour, I can't. I'm sorry, I have to do it. But this time, I'm not going to fall. I promise. Um, let's see, was it this guard? Yes. But someone, that person got assigned already. Um, to one of the other guard towers, probably. So I guess I'm fine. Now I should yes, be full. Sir. Yes. Now I'm lacking living space. Um, let's check the composter and see what we want them to compost actually. 
Um, is there any good way to get anything from Rotten Flesh? Um, monster Jerky. I guess we can go with Rotten Flesh then. <laughs> here to here. Teach recipe and I don't know. Define. So we want uh, wheat seeds, definitely. Um, Rotten flesh, definitely. But there's a lot of stuff here. But that's going to be difficult. So let's see. Um, we don't have any leaves, I guess. Saplings we have, though. Chup, chup, chup. I guess spruce and what were the other saplings? I have a lot of birch saplings. Those yellow autumn saplings, I think it is. Right away. But that should be fine for now. To get us a stock of the stuff we need. I can help you with that. 180 cobblestone slabs. I'm going to be glad when we have our What's stone today, mason then? taking care of that stuff as well. I can give you another pickaxe as well. Okay. Let's see if I disabled in the farmer the necessary stuff. Wait. Entry to the farmer was here. There we go. Did I stop the request? Yes. So, because we want a lot of that compost in our warehouse relatively soon. We're going to that to work. We just have a quick guess, I guess. <laughs> So, and that is going nicely here. Let's see what the others are doing. Okay, that one is oh. only needing spruce stairs. That should be relatively soon finished. And we can check here. Okay, that one is progressing, we could say. Um, it's empty here. Let's check on our warehouse how much we're doing with iron there Yes, I saw that um, iron 448 iron that's nice I guess Did did I teach so I think we are ready to teach all the chain mail recipes then to get our guards better equipped. Um, list of recipes. I didn't teach those yet. No. So we go with chain mail. Iron nugget and iron ingot. Then. Iron nugget and iron ingot. Iron nugget and iron ingot. Iron nugget and iron ingot. And we want... Wait, of course we want him to know how to make iron nuggets. So, chain mail, iron nuggets and ingots. That seems to be fine. What are those flag smash? Okay, those are difficult to get apparently. So forget it. Um, Our guard should start requesting all the necessary armor now. To the blacksmith and we should start to see that going on to our iron supply reminding me I have to teach him the recipe for the shields as well um, 
I guess we take spruce wood. Teach. Shields. Okay. Progress. Yes. Shields. Definitely an important thing. Look here, Eleanor. What is it? We're not so bad as a guard. But she doesn't have any shield and that makes her vulnerable. And who wants a vulnerable Eleanor? No one does. Okay, that is progressing. That looks nicer now already. I guess that water section I here... Need to, to change as well. See how that is progressing in the future then. Chup chup chup. Now it should have... Prob There's uh, not, not probably enough not. place for my family to live here. So we got already a bunch in progress. The Fletcher and the Smay Stone Smeltery still. Okay. Do -do. So, progress is being made. So, uh, it's time for me. Is that our. Is he still flying around here? <laughs> I gotta sleep though quickly. Now double check. I'm going to double check on our shield design. Okay. Let's check out our sh uh, shield design quickly. Chup, chup, chup. Added colony flag. I oh, know that here looks amazing. Um, it looks interesting. Ah, now nice. Now the mod compatibility things are working a little bit better. You can see we can scroll now. But there are a few that are empty yet. A florist and then a dyer. Ah, wait. But there were some dyer updates I have to port yet. Going to, to get to it on Friday. Turn off the request for compost and the farmer yes um yes the vocalization for there's not enough room for me to live here for me and my family means that the citizen is not very happy with their housing situation so that is like housing pre-level 3 and we only have one level 3 house over there all the others are level 2 and I think we might even have a level 1 I think even our tavern is level 2 so that explains it um, yeah I did I did want to come visit your colony though So I'm going to ask for the cords again. We maybe do a little bit of colony visiting then. Although did did I maybe enable a waste down at their colony? I have like a, a small memory of this. No. That's desert. I only have those here. This is us. Thousand two hundred two thousand. So where is this? 
What is this? A rag? Middle of nowhere here. Um, a thousand, two hundred, two thousand. Basically in this direction. Yeah, let's let's do a quick trip. Uh, hopefully we find a way zone there for then quick back and forth teleportation in the future. Um, let's already make a sh some shears as well. So we take that moment to get some wool going again. Super, super. Wow, this is super close to our colony. Much closer than I had expected. Tube, tube, tube. Ah. There we run. Mm -hmm. A thousand, two hundred. 2000 straight south we ran it was a thousand two hundred two thousand yes doop, doop, doop. adventure there we go we'll raid the fall into a d deep ravine very well possible <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. I'm going to get a few of these pumpkins while I'm on it. Chup chup chup. Um, let me dump a few things in my backpack. Um, and take a few of those mushrooms while we're on it. I saw those as a building requirement these days. Yeah, you can see those rats passed through here. Everything on fire. You can be sure those rats passed through here. I wonder if fire spread was turned off for the time being because of those rats. <laughs> Will Ray fall in the ravine? Very easily possible. Who lives here? Ah, Wild. This is Wild's base. I guess it's one of Wild's bases. Does he have an underground colony? Mainly... Chip, chip, chip. Oh wow, this is deep. This is too deep. Did anyone follow his streams? Is he building so far underground? <laughs> um, there was... Wait, wait, wait. There was in the first section this here. So, Wilds Workshop, at least we got that enabled. So we go more in this direction again. <laughs> so, there we run. At least it's gravel. We now know there are some easy other ways to get it. We can take some more copies with us. And then we're going to go to the frozen tundra of Minecraft. <laughs> um, yeah, I like to avoid teleporting where it's possible. And if possible, use more immersive things like waystones, etc. I think that's a much neater way. Kind of forces you to do a decent level of exploration at least. 
um, 1200 to 2000 so mainly we want to go straight south now with a small to the right thing um, and let's hope on the way I do not fall into any ravine <laughs> Will Ray spend the night on a nerd pole? I never spend the night on a nerd pole. That is not safe. I spend the night in a in a hole. That's how I spend my my scary nights. But usually I just run. I just run and I hope I'm running faster than the mobs spawn and run after me. Let's get some. Oh, our iron sword is going to break after one hit. Getting some leather while we're on it. Another wolf. Do we have bones with me? I don't. Disappointing. I remember their colony being basically on the other side of this forest. And it is dark enough for mobs to spawn here. I do have enough wool to make a bed though, that's true. That is always an option. Making a little hole underground and then crafting a quick bed. I should have all the resources for that in my backpack and with me. Choo -choo -choo. That's what, another 600 blocks left. Getting really close. I have heard they got an enormous colony going. We're going to see how that one progressed. We already visited their colony once. It was a while ago and I think I forgot to check out if they have a waystone. Maybe they relocated the waystone in the meanwhile. Um, that is also possible. We'll get Ray, would, will we get distracted? Most certainly Ray will get distracted. Um, that is as certain as the Amen in the church. Oh there we can see it. <laughs> So, they got some neat walls set up around here for sure. And I see they had some fun with barbarians breaking through. Oh, wow. I see you got some big holes in that wall. Choo -choo -choo. So let's check out the stuff here. So we got a lot of people here. Sick people in the hospital. Um, there we got the main gate. Ah, they used multi pistons for the gate. Nice. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, we need some extra stuff for floaty players. Emergency lockdown. I guess this here is for naughty citizens. <laughs> the hospital or also known as the Mind Symphony Orchestra. 
Um, definitely a fitting name. But you can see the fun they had with barbarians already. And the amount of holes and letters all along their colony border is quite immense. Fun <laughs> cry softy. <laughs> Here they had a stronger one, even broke through here. But yes, our raiders do not deal well with floaty players. That's one of the things we are still working on to make that a little bit more nasty if the player is floating. <laughs> they put the un in fun. <laughs> so, oh wow, this is here some melty stuff. Got some machines going on this part of the colony. And some Minecraft villagers as well. Oh yeah, jump in, it's fun. I guess so. That is their main storage hut. Let me see. I forgot the waystone stuff. And do you have a waystone? Ah, there it is. Found it. Found it. Um, but yeah, they got a very neat, very developed co uh, colony. With a lot of high level and a lot of buildings in general. They've been making quite the progress here. They're missing uh, walls on this side of the colony yet. Here, high level enchanter as well. A neat colony, definitely. Um, at the moment we got four people online. This colony here is being maintained by two of them. Danger, keep out. <laughs> and they got a lot of iron golems, that is sure. Been getting experience. Choo, choo, choo. And that is the. That's where the walls got a significant barbarian raid, one could say. That seems like some barracks. Some more. That's a school, I guess. That's some nice school swings and for climbing. <laughs> nice idea, Luna. Okay. Let's find our way out here again to where the waystone was. I think it was this direction now. I almost thought something was on fire. Okay. Now we can go back to... Mine colonies, there we go. It, it it does look a little bit creative modi because they've built on a 
on this very flat surface um, while we've been building like in the valley with the hills around it so it has a little bit of a creative vibe to it I agree um. Um, yeah, as far as I know, he's OP, OP as well, but as far as I know, they made all the, the buildings the normal way, but are playing significantly more than I am, that is for sure. Um, I'm at the moment playing around two, three times a week, mainly during our stream time. Tube, tube, tube. Let's check out our builders again. So you're waiting for spruce stairs. They're still in delivery. Okay. And let's check on the composter worker. Oh yeah, I remember those old times when we had 10 workers and that was it. And people were then, what now? I did all of this, what now? Yeah, nowadays it, that is a little bit more difficult to say what now. Um, although you still read it, because we are still missing the, I would say, specialty quest components. I'm going to add a lot of stuff to do. And... The university gives you a bunch of things to do as well. And what else gives gives you a lot of stuff to do? Um, yeah, when we add in trading and economy, that's going to add a lot of optimization of possibilities. <laughs> I'm out of space. Yes, I also run into this. It's because we usually limit ourselves by putting up walls and then we're like where am I going to place next my stuff because we are already like where are we going to place stuff next we do not have that many empty spaces anymore hi angel welcome to the stream what this maybe let me see let me see if the the school was rather large. There's, the school was rather large. Medieval spruce. One less. So that overclaims by far. Um, no, it would not. But it already, yeah. Yeah, I saw I already rendered the level five school. It has a nice, this nice tree thing here. But even like that, it does overlap in a lot of spaces and especially also here it does overlap okay maybe in this place here might be a little bit bigger nope not big enough eh? so yeah, I think where we might fit the school. No, here. That's also not mm -hmm. enough place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meh. Sleeping Ray, really? Come on. Wake up. Um, that's going to be difficult.
maybe here. Choo -choo -choo. Choo -choo -choo. <laughs> so, oops, I need to eat something first. Um, wait, there is a nice mountain. So let's go up this mountain here. And we can probably see this a little bit better. So here we are aligned. Um, we go a little bit inside the river. That would then be outside the river. And that would exactly align on this side. But how do the other sides look like? So it does overlap here. <coughs> Let's see. That here is the maximum we can put it without overlapping. Um, it will probably still look nice. Maybe we would remove here a little bit of that. However, that probably goes like, yeah. In the middle of this. Yay! So... What? Who has high expectations of who? I'm a little bit out of the loop now. So, still wondering where we could put the school. Yeah, potentially we have to extend the wall at a bunch of different places um, to go then with that. That is definitely the case. Let us see if we're maybe on this side of the colony we get some extra space. Make it here in the middle of the colony. Uh, meh, kinda meh. Choo choo choo. Dump that daisy. Let's see if we have any place around here. Nope. Maybe here. There is another space for a, another citizen hut, but I don't think that this here would be enough for the school. It would have fitted where the stonemason is going as well, yes. So that is the rear side of the school. And that's the Y level. So it doesn't overlap with the buildings here. However, it greatly overlaps here. So we would have... But that is not, that would not be a problem. Probably want it more like this. Sup, sup, sup. And then go here in the back. So here where the tree is here. But it does overlap. We would have to go a little bit over here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That one has to go one lower, I guess. Maybe? Unsure. So up there is the wall. Uh, yes, so one lower. I'm sure. I think the citizen hut should be fine. Let's 
Um, here's an entrance. And... That's it, I think. That's the entrance. Here. So that would be a fitting place. Um, maybe we go even... So like, yeah. Go like... The full way down the back. And then we have a little bit more space in general available. And we move our wall one one back. I guess that would be probably the preferable preferable way to go. We place the school down there. We're not going to build it yet, right away. But we can then reroute this wall over there later. Because that should not be very difficult to reroute this wall. Yeah. Doesn't matter at all for us to reroute that wall over here and then to the right. Rather than what we're doing here at the moment. We don't want to build this school right now yet, but when we do this later then, uh, we're definitely going to go with this. So here we got a complex of four citizen huts. That's going to give us 20 citizens. And then we have another three citizen huts. That's going to give us 35 total citizens. Um, that should be fine in the total. We're going to have another barracks for another 20 and the, all the guard towers and combat academy. But that should be maybe enough citizens. Uh, if we need another citizen hut, over there should be here and there a little space where we can go. Chip, chip, chip. Um, something that I... Yeah, we, we finished these demon huts here as well. So now we got three of them. And I finished just this little gate here. Just reasonably. So now we got a nice multi-piston gate here. The career huts, yeah. Yeah, come. You see? I think that made a pretty neat gate. But it was quite the art to get that integrated in the wall nicely. As you can see we had to go fairly far back to be able to wire all the redstone nicely. But it did turn out well, I have to say. Chip, chip, chip. Um, yeah. I, I just wondered... No, citizens can't open those. I did just wonder something. Wait a second. Um, multi... Multi-piston. So we don't have any of these. Missing planks. Six. And then a multi-piston. Um, I do have the redstone for this with me. Chip, chip, chip. One, two blocks, another multi piston. I just wondered, I want to try out something. Okay, let me see if that actually works. So, short, short experiment session. Um, we need one button. Let's 
so um, I do want these three here okay um, do it like this um, and then we want a repeater Um, some redstone, some redstone and a button, then here that is south, so from minus to south, weight range 3, and that goes then from north to minus. Okay, wait. So the primary direction is minus to red south and the primary direction is south from minus range 3 now let's see one two three four five Okay, that did not work accordingly to what I wanted. Next experiment. <coughs> I do have to set up the speed to the highest level, else it's not going to work. And maybe we need another repeater. Not yet, other repeater. Choo -choo -choo. Not sure if you guys figured out already what I'm up to here. So, three. I wonder if that is possible. I wonder why that one here is taking so long. Yeah, the, the idea if, if we can have a gate that works like that. That one here needs a long time to respond. I wonder, I wonder if that is that redstone issue here. Let me go. Choo -choo -choo. Mm -hmm. That should get it from the other direction. It's night, let's sleep quickly. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, ma. Um, look again. I'm wondering if that one here is right on. <coughs> yeah, I tried that right now. Didn't work to my satisfaction either. Let me see if that one here... That here seems to be... Wait. That's north primary. Fail. Ray failed. <coughs> okay. So now that we got our directions straight, let's see if it works now. Ho ho ho! Did you see this? It did work. So we just need then on the other side ah, yes. a similar construct that does the first ticks this one and then that one for opening and then we can basically make 
a gauge that goes like this. Uh, I think that would be maybe something we're going to try for our main gate. I think we have enough space for that there. It is just enough. Maybe we make it a bit thicker, but that might just be enough. That could be quite the interesting construct here uh, for us to make as a project in the future. Jim, Jim, Jim. However, for now, it is getting late here. And I have to go to bed because I gotta get early up tomorrow to continue working on my paper. Um, thanks everyone for tuning in, as always. Do not forget to, forget to hit the follow button. Um, to follow and support our channel. If you want to support this modding project, Mine Colonies, don't forget to become a patron of the Mine Colonies project and help their awesome developers. <laughs> uh, thanks everyone for tuning in and engaging in the chat with me as always. Tomorrow we are most likely going to be online tomorrow night again. Um, on the official Patreon server. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode on the Fortcraft server. We got a few things done and our colony is growing very nicely. Um, either way, thanks for tuning in. See you guys tomorrow. Good night everyone.